everyone. I'm gonna do another cowbell uh, tutorial. This one I am using holographic sticker paper, which is in the scrapbooking section at your craft store. And I've got this one with stars. And you can see where I cut out some designs for some homecoming mums. And this one is just the regular, but they just, they peel like that and they're sticky. So just take a one inch cowbell and I'm just gonna lay it there. I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and I'm not doing anything exact. I'm going over just a little bit. So I'm just gonna cut down, you know, that's a little bit over, a little bit wider than what I need. I'm gonna take my ruler, cut there. And I'll pull that off. Sometimes I don't get it cut all the way. So just take this and go like that. You can see it's kind of, it's similar to the, the design, but it's not exact. We're gonna smash it down on the end so it won't be really noticeable. So I'm just laying it there and then smashing it down all over. Like to start at the bottom. So I'm going back to this side and just putting it down there at the end. Now you could quit there. You don't have to do the sides, I wouldn't think. My little bell stuck. So it looks perfectly fine like that too if you wanted to just do it like that or put, you know, some rhinestones or something on that side. But this, I think the holographic will work for boys too. It's not too blingy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the sides. And you can tell that I'm going, I'm alternating since I'm cutting them at a slant. So I'm t making the best use of that space. So again, I'm putting it on its side. Just cutting down. Good. Now I'm going to do this last side. No, oh, this one's going to be a little dip. No, nope, it came off easy. Sometimes this uh, sticker paper is really hard to get off the backing. And I'm just putting it down towards the bottom first because I want that bottom to be the cleanest. Because I usually put a bow or something uh, right there so you won't even see the top part. Okay, smoothing that all down. But I'm not going to leave it like that because I'm scared some of it will come up. So what I do is take my hot glue gun and across the top, I'm not pressing down on it. I'm just using the heat and the little bit of glue that's on there. And I'm just going across there. So I'm really kind of melting it onto there, giving it a little bit of glue. So it's really smushing it on there really good. I don't want to worry about it coming undone. Okay, and then on the corners, I'm just going to take the side of my hot glue gun and just run it up and down. Again, I'm just trying to like really heat that up so it seals to it. So I'm gonna go around all the corners and do this. There. See how clean that is now? What I did on the previous ones was I just peeled off the whole entire thing, which I know it's still on the backer, but, um, and then I went around like this, all the way around, and then I smashed it in and kind of cut down 
and just you know cut around and try to smash it in and it just didn't have as clean of a look to it so I didn't like it so I, I tried this way and it worked a lot better this way so hopefully it will stay and not come undone um, this is something new that I'm doing and it's really inexpensive because these big sheets are a dollar ninety nine and you can like I said you can get them find them on sale for half price so a dollar a sheet and you can do several of these cowbells with them so that's just a good way to to add some sparkle to your mom and make your cowbells look different I think they may even have these in some different colors and stuff too you'll have to check um, I just grabbed these two because I liked them uh, the thing about the star one though it's a little bit thicker and I'm having a little bit harder time getting it to seal down it keeps coming up so I would recommend that you buy the regular one it's much like I said it's much thinner I don't know if you can tell so there's something about that so just make sure that it's that it's easy to bend like this okay guys thanks so much for watching